Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another SWAT meat hunting video for you guys today. I'm out here at the Pasadena City College, a once a month uh, SWAT meet that happens, and I hopefully we come up on some fun stuff today. I'm out here with a very special guest. Hello. And I do mean special. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be heading on in there today. Hopefully we come up on some cool shit. No, we're going to get our steps in. We need to get our steps in. That too. Well, it's a nice overcast kind of a day uh, out here in California. Uh, the past couple days uh, were like over 100 degrees. And now it's like, what, like 70? And cloudy. And cloudy. It's I, I nice. Lo I love it like this. Yeah, me too. But uh, we're about to venture off into the Swami. This is only like half of it on this side. But uh, we're usually like going into that uh, parking structure where all the, the goodies are. So let's go see if we find anything worth getting. And the first thing you see when you walk into the SWAT meet is a, a big cock just waving his hands up in the air. Hmm, that's a pretty big cock. I'm talking about the chicken, not you, Aaron. Oh. Just got in to the SWAT meet right now and uh, that's some Rubik's Cube. Is that just like a, oh, that's a box. But are you, are you good at solving these? Right, no, but this is, this is cool. Uh, Bottom number small man? Yeah. I think that's from the Matterhorn, right? From Disneyland? Yeah, I, th I think you're right. But they also have Dragon Zord uh, going on right there. Yeah. Here's some uh, Hello Kitty for you, Brennan. That's Dante style, man. Oh, they got Bob Superboy. That, I, can see, I can see you putting that in your house. It's about time to walk into the parking structure of Wonder to see what kind of sights to show us in there. Inside here now, taking a look at the different things they got going on in here. A bunch of different art pieces uh, up for sale today. Some dresses and different things like that. Of course, we're on the hunt for the physical media here, which is here and far between sometimes at these things, but you never know unless you come and look. I had another booth right now, and of course, right when I saw this, I had to come on over to see what they had going on over here today. Uh, but when you see a blockbuster sign, that's kind of a good thing. They have a... Five bucks for the complete series of Freaks and Geeks. It's probably missing something. I can guarantee you it's like missing a disc or something. But uh, that, that's, a, that's a pretty good deal. I have an autographed copy of that at home in my collection. But um, okay, Jack Johnson, Johnny Cash, the police up there. But that's a pretty good deal. But I have it on Blu-ray as well uh, over here. But we shall see what other wonders we have. But representing Blockbuster. I see more movies, I see CDs, I see more Blu-rays uh, over here. This is the, oh, these are like the the ones you would see like at those, uh, you know, Dollar Trees and stuff like that. Some of them. Some of these ones, but they came across some DVDs and Blu-rays, so I'm gonna go through some of here and hopefully come up on some good stuff. You know, I have this movie, but I've never watched it. Let me know down below. Worth, uh, worth watching? I think I got it at a swap meet a long time ago or like a pawn shop or something. It just happens to be one of those ones that just sits there in the house and I've never opened. But hopefully we come up on, come up on something good today. Hopefully. Hopefully. Looks like we got some like new music DVDs up in here. Nothing too crazy at that last booth when it comes to physical media. But there is a, a lot of retro kind of cool little action figures and things they got going on. These are all metal, not plastic, and oh. they're 30 years old. Never been opened. Oh, that's cool. The, oh, made of metal. That's rad. Those little metal Batman Returns little figures, he was asking 40 for the most part, and like, what, like 60 or 70 on that duck one? You know, the penguin's duck? Eh, no thanks. You know, when I saw this at someone's booth, I had to stop on by uh, to see what, what kind of wonders they have going on uh, over here. And uh, we got some old school uh, VHS tapes going on. Halloween Resurrection, old Hollywood video X rental uh, right there with good old Thomas Nicholas uh, cropping off over here. A lot of different action figures. A flattened, a flattened Oogie Boogie. Hmm. Let's see if they have some dope stuff over here. Let's see. Let's see if there is anything to be had. A Chucky lunchbox. We got some like gremlins going on. This booth has some cool horror movie posters. Elvira, Child's Play, The Nun, and Beetlejuice. 
amongst other things, at another booth that has a lot of different CDs and movies and stuff in it. I just saw Pinky and the Brain uh, over here. I don't know, it's like the volume one uh, set. That's a cartoon I used to watch from my childhood back in the day. Uh, yeah, this is, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mix of things. DVDs, $5 each or 5 for 20 uh, Otherwise, if, if things are marked differently, like this one's 8 bucks for Betty Boop and things. But it's a nice selection of stuff, and I'm just uh, searching through it. And if I come across anything, I'll let you guys know at the end, of course. Afro Samurai. Just scored three Blu-rays at that last booth that you guys saw. One from Olive Films, one from Twilight Time, and one from Kino. All brand new factory sealed. You'll see at the end. A booth over here even has little mini posters of Gran Turismo uh, going on for five bucks right there. And even one for Barbie. That'd be kind of cool to get signed by Margot. I haven't seen the movie yet, but that Grateful Dead one next to it's even killer. Just saw a bin that says dollar DVD, so you know I had to come up over here to see what they got going. Ooh, they got some like old school Hollywood video cases. Amityville Horror. We also got some Playboys. Uh, good old um, Jenny McCarthy over here. And I'm not sure who that is. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, this is like a, a little crate of uh, DVDs that they have going on in here. That definitely dollar bin uh, titles right off the bat here. The Cooler, that's a, that's a decent flick. If you guys haven't seen it before, pretty decent. Ocean's Eleven. But I doubt, I highly doubt we're gonna find anything kind of rare or super random in here. One of my favorite ones of all time. Uh, almost famous, but yeah, some of these ones are like sun beaten and stuff, but you have to look, because you never know, you might miss something. You just might miss something. Judgments. Uh, for a second I thought that was like an old Anchor Bay one or something. And there's a portion of this uh, swap meet here that's dedicated to all records, for people that collect records and stuff. Like small record companies and little record stores come out here to sell their records and things. I'm not a big record guy, but uh, I find it cool that people are out here doing what they gotta do, you know, to sell their stuff and make their money. But like I said, guys, a lot of cool things you can come up on, like original record soundtracks for Nightmare on Elm Street, one, two, and four that they got here. 80 bucks for four, 100 for two, and 180 for number one. I've never seen these out in the wild before. Definitely cool, cool finds. Bro, I just came across some like cool uh, Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street soundtracks. Oh, really? Yeah, the yeah. first one was like 180 bucks, Where though. Where are they? It's like a, a booth or two down that way. Kind of cool stuff. Yeah, but it looks like the booth you're at right now has some decent yeah, they, stuff. They got some heavy metal stuff, so. Blizzard of Oz. That's rad. Some rainbow. Yeah. Man, my hair's all out of whack. I'm on my knees right now though, in this parking structure, because at the same booth I was just at with Aaron here, there's a big box of old VHS tapes, some old horror ones, and other you know mishmash of stuff. So I had to get on my knees to take a look, because sometimes my VHS guy is here, like he is today, and sometimes he's not. Mad Monster Party, we got a VHS of that in here. I gotta be careful what I show uh, in here, because you never know if it's gonna be like some adult, you know, style stuff, but how fun can sex be? That old school CBS, uh, Fox Home Video. I, I kind of like going through some of this old school uh, VHS stuff in here, man. It's like, especially like the old artwork, you know, brings me back to like the good old days. Uh, some stuff I don't remember, like this movie called, you know, Sex Machine. I don't know who, it's from Media. Media Home Entertainment, the same company that put out Nightmare on Elm Street back in the day. That, 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 that's always been like a cool nostalgic like logo and company from my, my childhood and stuff. The Keeper for 10 bucks, okay. Yeah, you never know, man, but I'm gonna dig through here. Out of the parking structure and back out to where the, the cloud is, the you know, clouds and sun and people. See if there's any other cool vendors out here selling some uh, physical media. Guys, these things are kind of cool. Yeah, all Japanese the, is great though. No, if you collect the... Are these like, like what? This like... Japanese, all in Japanese. Yeah, all in Japanese, but these are like, it's like pictures from the movies the and... The whole movie, the whole, it's the same program, it's, it's, it's Japanese program, essentially. That's pretty cool. Yeah. They have like all sorts of different ones in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, you, your favorite movie, grab it. Yeah, yeah like the Goonies and stuff. Yeah, yeah it's just like, pic like pictures from the movie. Yeah, your favorite film, grab it. Yeah. I think I'm about getting another one of these. 
You have like a whole handful of them yeah, there. Yeah, I know. Too many. I got too many. Yeah. <laughs> I just like all these movies and I don't have any, you know, I just... I no, like, I know. I like too many. As you guys saw a second ago, they have like all these like Japanese programs and stuff. And they have, of course, The Goonies is my favorite movie of all time. And, you know, of course, none of it's in English, but they have like pictures from like, you know, behind the scenes, certain ones from like behind the scenes shots of like The Goonies in here. This is kind of cool, man. You know, I think I saw a picture in here a second or two ago of like, you know, Richard Donner like directing the kids and things. A lot of cool images here and I believe they're all like seven bucks. Seven bucks a piece for some of the those pro the programs that they have. You see like we said like Richard Donner and Steven Spielberg on the set of the Goonies. That is cool man. Like little behind the scenes shots. Hmm. What am I gonna do with it though? You know what I'm saying? It's cool. It's one of my favorite images. Uh, from the movie, like the VHS cover as a kid. I almost got that Goonies, like Japanese program. It's cool, but what am I gonna do with it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh God, collector problems. Came across some cool art prints down here. We got Bella Lugosi, some other weird, weird things going on here. Some axes or cleavers. It's like a purse. Huh? Oh, it's a purse? Oh, I thought it was like a, like a plastic cleaver. And some, uh, your son and your daughter. <laughs> that, that's, isn't that what they look like when they were little? Yeah. But look at this creepy thing. I guess this is like the aisle of all creepy dolls because we walked back into the, um, of course, the parking parking structure. And where is he looking at? I think he's looking at the the girl walking by. Did his eyes just move? Yeah, I don't think. Oh, huh. just came across another booth that has some dollar. Uh, DVDs. You see anything uh, worth looking at or worth grabbing? Because usually when they're that when they're that cheap, they're like those, you know, super common old jelly. That's all right. That's all right. So I have like a thing in my hand, so I can't really pull out anything. They got the Richard Pryor show down there. Dirty Jobs Collection One. I used to like watching that when it was on back then. You know, if you ever find this one, Dracula 2000. If you ever find that on uh, Blu-ray, I believe it's out of print. Or, I, I could be wrong, but, like going for crazy money. I could be wrong, no. Yeah, just some common stuff. Common stuff. What is this? Oh. That's good on. Yep, that's, that's decent. That's decent. You wanted to show me something? Yeah, your favorite store in the world has their own soundtrack. I didn't... Turn that around. Is that bootleggers? No, it's not. It has Dance the Slurp. Uh, Five bucks. That took me and this guy three years to put it together. Wow. Oh, so you guys made this? Nice. I thought you guys got it from 7-Eleven. <laughs> oh. It's like a bran muffin you're buying at a farmer's market. Yeah. Oh, nice. Does this remind you of any character from any movie? Let me know in the comments down below. Hey, Wazowski. It looks like my last date. I think you're right. Yeah. Looks like the sun is out now. And uh, what is it? What's in this one, dude? The heat, the heat's on a little. Soundtracks. Got the Rays of Lost Ark. That's nice. Uh, E.T. E yeah. Jesus Christ. Superstar. Superstar. Yeah. The Moonraker from that, James Jones. I like that cover's pretty rad. Yeah. That cover's pretty rad. Find Me Vice. Yeah. I wonder if there's any cool horror ones in there. Hmm. It's warm. Yeah, that counts. Heading towards the end of the swap meet right now, guys. Uh, on the outskirts, heading back to the car, looking at some of the cool stuff that they got going. But this, there's some miscellaneous DVDs here. Not, nothing, nothing too crazy right now. But we did get, we both did get some stuff today. You got a couple CDs. A couple CDs. We'll show you guys when we get to the car. Just got out of the swap meet. It's about time for us to show you guys what we picked up today. I'm with my boy. We found some goodies. We found some goodies. Do you want to show uh, your shit first, or do you want me to go first? I'll go first, I guess. So I spent ten bucks. Mhm. Mm um, it's all stuff I don't need, obviously. Yeah. But um, I got all CDs. I got helmets, greatest hits. Okay. They're a '90s uh, kind of like hardcore band. Mhm. Mm um, this one was interesting. It's the Roots of Nirvana. Okay. And it's basically like the bands that kind of um, inspired them or whatever. And 
they do a lot of covers, Nirvana, and some of the some of the originals are on this. So that's cool. And then I got um, I, I've been getting into like late '60s psychedelic music, so I got a couple bootlegs of some huh. bands, Blue Magoos, and the end. That's cool. That's it. That's some decent stuff. But right it's there. ten bucks, so all for all of them. For everything, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the stuff I got, all all of it was twenty bucks. I only got three Blu-rays here. Uh, one was uh, from this company called Olive Films, which I don't think is around anymore. And it's a movie called Pursued, uh, right here. And uh, I don't know, it has a slipcover and everything, and pretty much a lot of stuff from this company is like out of print now, only because the company went under. Just grabbed that one. Also got this one uh, from the keynote from Kino Lorber. Uh, I kept seeing it on their website, you know, when they had their sales, but never jumped on it. Cops and robbers, you know, cop, cops and robbers. And uh, it could be kind of cool, you know, old, like, what is this, 80s? I don't know, 1973, like, you know, cop comedy looking kind of movie. Kind of interested in seeing that one. And this one right here. Uh, Twilight Time release of uh, Wild at Heart. All these were, of course, you know, brand new and stuff. So I couldn't pass them up. Got them all together for 20 bucks. No, no, you know, no, nothing to sneeze at, but... You know, that's what I picked up. That's what he picked up. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, we're always, like, coming out here just chilling. And we got our steps in, right? I guess so. Did you uh, eat and keep track? No. Oh. I'm still fat as hell, but, you know, we got to take things day by day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you knuckleheads on the next one. Ta-ta.